Now, how many people have seen Not Fade Away? Great film. Uh, how does this come? How does this film come about? Because it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a, it's also a beautiful film, and I think it touches on anybody that has been, has grown up. It's 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 almost an ode to growing up. Tell us about the film, where it's coming from, and when are we gonna see another? David Chase film that we've all been waiting for. You answer that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about the other question? Where the does the film question. come from? The other question. The film, uh, when I was a kid, I was, you know, you're, you're just a kid. You don't really think about much of anything. And um, I used to look at, I used to have this thing called the World Book Encyclopedia. And um, they had a section called art. And so you'd look at it and it would be, you know, Caravaggio and Leonardo and all these people. Um, and all those paintings. And I would look at those paintings and I'd go, wow, they're really something. But I don't know that I understood them or didn't really see how they related to my life. I, I'm not Catholic, so that's another reason why I didn't. Um, didn't relate to me, but uh, although I was with with Catholic kids all the time and went to confession and everything, with them. I mean I didn't go to confession. I went with them and waited. <laughs> and, waited. Um, and when the Rolling Stones and the Beatles hit, and Bob Dylan, I was about uh, seventeen or something like that, and I suddenly for some reason I thought, oh, that's art. That's art too. And I don't know what made me think about that. I guess because the subject matter changed into the blues and death and betrayal and and starvation and love gone wrong. It wasn't just, you know, it wasn't not that it wasn't Edie Gourmet anymore. It was it was um, it was deep, dark stuff. And I began to put that together as art, and so I wanted to do a movie about that subject, about how somebody becomes an artist. How difficult was it to get uh, Steve Van Zandt involved with the film? Oh, it was very easy. Very easy. He liked the script. Um, <laughs> he liked the script and uh, liked the subject matter. I mean, it's really the movie's really for him. This is he. He loves that stuff. That's, he loves the '60s underground rock and um, in a way that movie was made for him actually it's a, it's a beautiful film